Valley drivers will soon see cars traveling on the freeway without anyone behind the wheel. Waymo is now testing autonomous passenger cars without human drivers on freeways in Phoenix. 12 News journalist Gabriela Becerra has more tonight on how this will work and heard from both drivers and Waymo riders about the plan. Gabby. After four years of transporting people across Phoenix, Waymo is expanding access from surface streets to freeways. The company says trips to places like Sky Harbor Airport and North Scottsdale will become up to 50% faster. Getting in a car without a driver behind the wheel is a foreign feeling for most people. It's kind of unnerving the first time around, but once you like, just get used to it, it's just like it's just any other car. But thousands of people have hailed Waymo's self-driving cars to transport them around the valley in the last year. I feel completely safe just like if it was a driver, uh, like Uber or Lyft. And soon the company says it's aiming to expedite those trips by allowing passenger autonomous cars to travel on the Loop 101 and 202 freeways. Autonomous driving on highway is relatively technically easier than driving on off-highway. Arizona State University Associate Professor YZ Yang says despite the faster speeds, the highways present less challenges, including no pedestrians and unmapped areas. The amount of variations the vehicle that actually proceeds on highway is much less. In December, Waymo released data showing that autonomous cars have an 80% reduction in injury-causing crash rates compared to human drivers in Phoenix. Yang tells me autonomous cars will one day improve traffic efficiency, but first, people will need to trust the technology. Small step for Waymo to push to highway, but I think it's a big step for the uh, private and public to align expectation and being able to, you know, push the uh, adoption of autonomous vehicles in the long run. Some people tell me they're open to the idea. Freeways, I think I'm really comfortable with that. Other drivers? I can't trust no electronic. Aren't as comfortable riding in or around self-driving cars. It's just dangerous. You can't keep putting trust into something that they can't think. So it can dysfunction, malfunction. Waymo employees will be the ones testing the rides. There's no timeline yet on when they'll be open to all riders. Reporting in Phoenix, Gabriela Becerra, 12 News. All right, Gabby, thanks. Early